Hello everybody! In this video we'll talk about speed ramping in Adobe Premiere Pro. I guess many of you already know what is speed ramping, but just in case, speed ramping is when you have a video and in the editing process you speed it up or slow it down to create a very cool and dynamic editing. And now we can start. Intro. Okay, we have here a video, it's a drone footage and it's like 35, 34 seconds. So we don't want that video that long. The footage is beautiful, but for the purpose of this video, I'll show you how to cut it in a good way, okay? We're gonna do a uh, speed ramp. So normally I saw many people do like this. Okay, I want the speed to start here. They just press C or cut. They cut the video here and then they go to whatever the point is that they wanna speed it up and then they cut there. And then what they do is they come here to the middle, they right click, they go to speed duration, and then here they change, I don't know, to 1200, for example. And then it's done. It's, it's like really, this part over here is gonna be super fast, okay? I saw many people doing that, but this is not the perfect way to do it. It's okay, you can use it in another cases. But if you wanna make your video beautiful, if you want to make your video more attractive, you have to use speed ramps. This is not a speed ramp. I'm going to show you how to do a speed ramp, okay? Let's go back to how the video was. Okay, imagine that this is the video until here, and then we want to speed it up from here to almost over here. What we do, I'm going to make it bigger so we can see how to make the speed ramp. There you go. You see here in this corner, you have this FX. You know, you see this is a FX with the black letters, but it's like a gray uh, square here. So we're going to do right click, time remapping and speed. Immediately you will see that it changed. You see the, 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 the way you see this changed completely. Now you have this line in the middle. So what we're going to do is to press P or we can come here to the pen tool. We just marked the pen tool as you can see. Now we have a pen, you see, we're going to click here. Okay, you see it's a keyframe here now. Now we're gonna go to the last part exactly where it is, uh, let me see over here. We want the speed to come back to normality here, okay? Let's click here and we created another keyframe as you can see. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre uh, press V so we come back to the arrow or you can come here and click here. I like to use the, the keywords, the shortcuts because it's, it makes my workflow faster. Okay, now when you come here in the middle to the white line, you see it's gonna start to change. You see, now it changed. You see it's an, a black arrow pointing up and then you have arrow up, arrow down. Now what you're gonna do is to left click and pull. Pull, pull all the way up. Look what is happening. 150, 200, 300, let's go to 1000. Okay, this is the percentage of the speed. Let's go to 1000, uh, let me see. Oof, I lost it, let's put here. Let's go back. Let's keep going, keep going. 1,200. Let's go to 1,200, okay? There you go. And we have it. That's it. As simple as that. But let me see. Alt, and we erase this audio. Okay, we have now the speed drum, but I want it perfect. I want perfection. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come in one of these keyframes. Let's put the timeline here, and let's make it bigger. So I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do, okay? I'm gonna take it out so you can see. Do you see that you have the two little lines here that are like very light gray? What we're gonna do is to pull a little bit the lines here. You see what is happening? It's creating a ramp. Now it's not that harsh. It's going to be super nice. And we're gonna do the same in the other side, okay? We come here, we make it bigger so you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna create the same ramp. You look at this, it's super nice. That's why it's called speed ramp, okay? Now we're gonna do something else. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see properly. And I'm gonna actually make it bigger. Click in any of these lines, any of them. This blue little draw up here, here, it has this square in the middle and two lines. Touch one of the lines and pull it like towards the other side. Look, look what is happening. Now this is curved is super nice so this is gonna be very smooth very smooth now let's go to the other side to do exactly the same let's see we click in any of them and then we just touch here and pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it you can see how the curves are forming there you go now we have this smoothness here and smoothness in the other side and that's it now let's see how it looks 
Amazing, look at the video, super cool. Now, I'm gonna show you another example, but this is the opposite. This is actually a slow motion video, okay? So you know what to do, we're gonna go here, we're gonna uh, right click, time remapping, and then speed. There you go, the line in the middle. Now what is happening here, I'm gonna put it here so you can see it. It's a guy in a skateboard, okay? And this is all in slow motion. So what we want is to keep the speed of slow motion in the middle. So we're gonna speed it up in the sides at the beginning and at the end. I'll explain you what is happening. We're gonna wait until this guy starts to jump. Let me see, there you go. He's starting to jump here. Let's actually go a little bit before. Let's press P to make the pencil or you can come here like I said before. We're gonna click here and that's it, it's done. Now let's click here, the guy is jumping, the guy is jumping, oh, that's so cool. And then as soon as he's gonna crash in the floor, there you go, that's it. We're gonna start with the ramp here again, okay? Now we have the two ramps. What are we gonna do? Press V and we're gonna make the speed in the beginning and at the end. Let's go to like 600, okay? Okay, 500 something, it's okay. It's acceptable. Let's go here in the, in the end and then do the same. 600, oh, there you go, nice. Now we're going to press Alt so we erase the audio. We don't care about the audio. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to pull this to the side. So we make this and then we pull this. So we make these little beautiful curves. Oh, I love this. I love this. Now we're gonna do the same here. We pull to the side. There you go. And then we pull this to the curb. There you go, we have it. Nice, now let's see how it looks. Excellent, I love it, I love it. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a like and subscribe, I'm posting every week. Also, if you want to support me, I'll explain you how to do it in the description below. Until next week.